your day is going absolutely amazing whenever this finds you. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa. Thank you for joining and I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel. Um, doing things a little bit differently. I say that every video, but it's really not that different. Um, pulling out my kit this week from my designated slip, slip, slide, slip. Ooh, dog is very excited. And I pulled out a gorgeous Miss and Meow kit. So this is my final kit before we go into Christmas kits. Technically my final normal non Christmasy New Year's Eve kit of 2020. How weird does that sound? This kit is gorgeous. It is from Miss and Meow. It is in rose gold. You can choose your foils when you order from Miss and Meow, which is gorgeous. I love this kit. And it is also my final rose gold kit of 2020, which is like really weird for me. <laughs> So yeah, so grabbing my little tweezers, by the way, this is a vinyl whittling set. I love it. I do play with vinyls very often. Um, I know I don't really share that, <laughs> but I do a lot of vinyling. I did a ton of vinyling, vinyling yesterday and guys, I can't wait to show you my Christmas setup for my planner. I'm in love. Um, I'd made some stuff for it and I absolutely adore it. So yeah. So just laying down my headers, today is going to be just kind of a regular plan with me. I did film this um, earlier, early, early, actually fairly early on in the week. I was exhausted while I planned this, so I am sorry. You see me fumble, you see me lay st stickers down crooked, but you know what? I fix it. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I'll explain why. And I also have a couple questions that were put in other videos that I thought I would answer because there's only about three of them. so. I figured I'd answer them just in case you have them too. So yeah, um, laying down those gorgeous days. This has been an interesting week. We here in Ontario are in our first, not our first, our second, not our first, oh my God, um, our second full lockdown. Our first lockdown um, ran from March to like June, I think. Um, I think that was around the time when stores went curbside, outdoor stores, and then eventually indoor stores, and the malls opened to allow people inside. Um, this one is now running for 28 days, so we are fully locked down. Stores are allowing for curbside, but a lot of stores have decided to actually close um, temporarily just for the lockdown as people just weren't being safe and minding themselves. So I see why it's been done. It's a bittersweet one. I have not been... Uh, laid off temporarily. It's all temporary layoff, layoffs that's happening. Um, but I have not been laid off temporarily. I am still working, which I'm very fortunate for, but that may change depending on sales at the store. So I, I am kind of playing it by ear right now. Um, I do work this week. I work Thursday, Friday. I was supposed to work Saturday, but because of sales, um, I will not be working Saturday, which is fine. And then I will be um, I will find out as to what's going on. If I get to still continue to work, I will be very excited that I can work. If not, then that's okay too. And I will take this time to swim with my family since I'm done school in two weeks. I will actually be able to relax. I was saying the other day to uh, Nathan that it is if I do end up having Christmas off, it is the first time I've had Christmas off in about six or seven years. Like, I usually work through Christmas, so I'll work Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, um, and it's been like that since I worked retail, and it's been about six and a half, seven years now, so I will definitely take it and count my count it as a blessing for sure, so yeah, that is what's going on this week. Um, also, in my second last week of school, I think I've got two weeks left of school, I finished my final week is the seventh, so next week and then the week after is it. So I'm very excited. Um, next week is my final class for two of my classes. I also handed in my final major assignment, uh, like out of class assignment paper thing. Um, so that's very exciting too. So just a little bit of things left here and there and one, one exam in the morning of the 15th. Then I am, that's it for 2020. And then I move on to my final semester. Flipping crazy. I can't believe it's already here. I mean, it's not really here because I still have... I move into finishing up my degree and doing my master's, but um, yeah, it's crazy. So doing my sidebar, um, Regina always has some gorgeous, beautiful sidebar stickers. I love them. Um, I'm pulling out my hydrate sticker from Simply Beautiful Plans. You see this all the time. I have it in many, many metals. <laughs> and um, yeah, I use it all the time. I do track my hydration and my vitamins 
on in my planner on my sidebar it does keep me accountable and then also my sidebar if you are new here I put in the days of the week I put in my usual what I have so my big thing whether it's work or class or an event um, which we don't really have events right now but I put that there and then usually in a checkbox I'll do like a uh, like a to-do of the week so whether it's like make a cake or just like little things that I, I want to do and make sure that I get done that week um, it was laundry, I think, this week, and I actually did it yesterday. I'll have to do it again at the end of the week, but yeah. <laughs> so that's what that is. And yeah, so I do have a couple of questions. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. I can't remember. I do have a couple of questions that were left in YouTube videos, and I figured I would address them and answer them here. So um, it's just three of them, and it's just ma mainly about planning, and it was after my um, question thing a couple of videos ago. So my little Ask Me Anything video. So yeah, so the first question was, do I uh, bullet journal? Uh, I don't. Have I considered it? I have. Would I like to? I would love to. Um, maybe one day. I am just not, what's the word, creative enough to bullet. There are some absolutely beautiful planner bullet journaling YouTubers and Instagrammers, and I'm just so in awe of some of the work that they do, and I feel like... I'm so intimidated by that and I really shouldn't be because planning is so personal but I'm just kind of like yeah I don't know if I can get to that level and I don't see why I have to get to that get to that level but I feel like I just I want to I want to be good at it that's where my anxiety comes in by the way wanting to be good at something that makes super sense um but yeah so I don't burn a bullet journal I feel like it would be amazing for my anxiety um I do use my planner as an anxiety aid a lot of my anxiety comes from um, the unknown and the inability to control things. So AKA, I'm a control freak. Um, no, I do like to control obviously things and I can't in all places. So um, doing my planner every week kind of helps me with that. And I haven't had an anxiety attack revolving around that in a long time, which has been wonderful. I do set out at the beginning of the week, usually Sunday or Monday, I will plan out my week as best that I can. So things like school, work, all that stuff, any like events that I'm going to see anybody, I have to take the dogs for a walk. The dogs have an appointment. I have an appointment. It all goes in there. And that really helps me kind of see my week laid out. And I'm usually good after that. So, um, I am filming this video very late. So you're going to see me pulling up stickers, fumbling a little bit. Uh, that is just because it was late. I had a very stressful day at school. It was the day before lockdown and cause the lockdown happened on Monday and this, I filmed Sunday night, which is usually when I actually film my spreads. Um, and I was very, very stressed out. I dealt with a very awful customer towards the end of my day that had me almost shaking. Um, and I handle customers very well. I definitely pride myself in that. And I just, it, it threw me right off for the day. So I came home, um, I had dinner with family, which was hard because when you're in that state of mind, it's hard to like talk to family and like be on for a long period of time right after something like that happens. So I just, I was looked at Nathan. I was like, I just need one hour. I'm going to plan. Um, I'll film while I plan. And yeah. So my planner is my anxiety aid. Let me know if yours is too. I find it really helps me. So yeah, I'd love to hear if yours helps you too, or how it helps you if it's on anxiety aid. Just let me, let me know. Let's chat about it. Um, so back to the bullet journaling and uh, no, I don't bullet journal. I think it'd be great for my anxiety. So I would love to maybe one day we'll try. We'll see. Let me just get through like <laughs> planning out my new school planner when that comes, because I'm excited to do those videos. I'm super excited to do those videos. Okay. So the second uh, question that I had was how did I learn to put my planner pages together? Um, I think that's an evolution thing. I, if you look back to like a couple years ago on my planner, it was very different from, what it is, what it looks like now. And I think that has a lot to do with the innovation that a lot of shops are coming out with, um, the foiling, the changes, the clip art, the style that's coming out. Um, I tend to bounce between a couple of styles. I'll either get like clip art, um, like clip art, you like the fashion girl style, or I'll do something like this, which is a little bit more soft and, um, gentle, or I'll do something that's a little bit more bold with the photo kits. I jump around. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say that I have a, I guess I do have my own style. Um, but I think like most planner girls, because we all, a lot of us will watch other planner YouTubers. We kind of have our own style mixed in with inspiration from others. So, um, things like layering, I'm not the layering person. I'm not the layering queen at all. 
Um, not even close, but I love the look of it. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to throw it into mine and then I add it to my usual style, which is what you see. So I think it's an evolution thing. And as I plan more, I kind of fall into what I like and what works for me. Um, and what doesn't work for me. So that's kind of it. That's kind of how I lay it out in terms of like, I don't know if, if you meant in terms of like what my like page layout looks like, um, or if you meant like my actual planner, um, in terms of what my aura style setup looks like, that's a little different. That is mostly about how I'm feeling. So I'll find pieces like my Tilly and Twine that I love. Um, I made myself some very cool vinyls lately for my planner. I have more that I'm making because I just got in some more acetate in laminating pieces. I'm also making, making dividers for a planner friend. Um, it's something very cool with my caress press inserts and I'm very proud of myself. And I, when I do a flip through, I might do a flip through, maybe I'll film it this week or, um, maybe I'll post, I might film it this week and I'll post it next week because I'm actually pretty much done. Um, I just want to put two more things in that I can get that done tonight. And yeah, I'll show you guys what I did with my caress press inserts. I was like very proud of myself and you'll probably turn around next week and just be like, Alyssa, someone else has done it. But like, yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> but I really love how it turned out. That's more so for how I need and how I'm feeling. If that makes any sense at all. Um, it's just, it usually just pieces of things that I've collected or stuff that I've purchased or stuff that I'm recycling. And yeah, so that's pretty much where my, that's how I plan my layout. And my actual week layout is just, it's sitting down and deciding how I feel. I don't pre-plan what my layout looks like. I, as, as you can see, I kind of just go with the flow. So I hope that answers your question. Um, and the final question was, is it expensive to get started? Um, it can be very expensive and that's kind of the hard part about this. Being able to budget yourself, and I say this because I'm not great at this, uh, being able to budget yourself with stickers is a super great asset. Um, this is my goal for 2021 is to stop buying more than what I need. I have a lot of stickers to be truly honest. I have a lot going on. Um, and that's just collection, just collecting from like over the years and um, planner friends and trading and doing group orders. I just, it's a lot easier to do a group order with people than it is to do yourself because you don't get hit with that shipping as hard, um, especially shipping to Canada. So it can be expensive. It absolutely can. The trick will be to budget yourself and get what you need. And that is my goal for 2020 and I recommend it. Um, get what you need. <laughs> I have kids, I have so many fall kids that I am good for fall next year. And I have to remember next year that I don't need to be buying like 20 fall kits. Um, the planner itself is always going to be your biggest investment, depending on what you do. Having a basic bullet journal is a really good way to start. If you want to go more like this in terms of a layout, then I then definitely like invest in a decent planner. I recommend, um, I like these inserts. I, for next year, have my Aura style covers. I have four of them and I'm stopping at four. I have the new collab one with uh, Scribble Prince Co. It just got here. I'm just not allowed to touch it until Christmas because it was a gift from Nathan. Um, and then I have three of the clouds and I, Amy, they're most of my inserts. I have one set from Cross Press. Uh, these are from Aura Style. And then I also have all my other inserts are ones that I've printed. So has it cost me a lot? Yeah, but these are covers that I can keep using. And that for me was kind of my way of saying, all right, this is the new way I'm going to be planning for a while. I don't need, I really don't need to purchase myself a coil planner. I don't particularly care for coil planners. Um, I like this better because I can take out the sheets. I can, I do like to change out my layout seasonally and I will be just changing out my planner seasonally. So it's an investment at first for sure, but there are so many ways to make it cost effective and that's by buying during sales. Um, by buying uh, locally is a big one, supporting local shops um, or even shops within your own country because I know shipping within Canada is a lot cheaper than purchasing from the States. However, I do, I do buy from the States because I have friends who own uh, shops out of country, but I also like to support some favorite shops that I like too. So um, doing that or buying in a bigger order so you don't have to constantly be shelling out for shipping. That's a big one. Um, or buying printable and supporting printable shops too. So there are some different ways to do it a little bit more cost effective. Um, but also definitely check out the shop that you're buying from and make sure that they are a decent shop too. You want to be getting good stuff for what you're paying for too. So yeah, it can be expensive. It doesn't have to be, but yes, it can be very expensive. <laughs> um, I do plan for 2021 to 
stick to not a budget per se, but not over buying per season. I do. I've never had FOMO before, but I feel like this year has been the worst for FOMO. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm home when I'm a lot more, I'm bored more. Um, I wouldn't say now, now not so much. I did find that once I started school and got busy with work, I wasn't purchasing as much. So it had a lot to do with me kind of just always being home during lockdown. Um, but I do find like FOMO was bad this year and not succumbing to FOMO. <laughs> Definitely buy what you need. That has to be my new model. Like Alyssa, buy what you need. So yeah, I hope that answers your questions and I hope that helps others who had similar questions or their questions that they thought they'd never ask. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about the spread. The spread is turning out beautiful. I absolutely love it. My sidebar is good. Um, I have stickers from Pumpkin Paper Co., my little tea stickers. And then I also have my paper bits in there. That's where my computer girl is from. And my little bear at the bottom with the kitchen aid. Um, my home workout sticker is from Planning Roses. And my workout girl is from Fox and Pip. And my meeting sticker is from Simply Beautiful Plans. Um, my little swish on Tuesday is from Rose Color Days. So yeah, um, let's talk about my days. So Monday I had school. I had my ethics class. Um, did I have to hand something in? I did not have to hand something in. Um, but I did have to work on my assignment. So I had a meeting at 3 p.m. Normally I do book club at 4 p.m. But um, due, to lock- due to the lockdown, my placement wasn't able to get their book club book on time. Because they had a lot of, I guess, things they had to work with. So they finally got them. So we're reading our book this week and then we're convening together on Monday. Um, and we're supposed to have that book be- uh, finished by like the end of next week. So yeah, <laughs> um, my little Paper Bits Co. Girls, I use them all the time. Every week, they're some of my favorites. I'm going to start running low. I only have, I think, one and a half sheets left. So they'll get me done through this semester, but then I've got to find something else or... Hopefully, I don't know if they're still in paper bit shop. I think they might be. So if they are, I'll just have to buy more. <laughs> and if not, then oh my gosh, I'll find something. I always do. Um, you're going to see me right here. <laughs> have a moment. This is what my like camera shy looks like. Um, I have this cute little paper clip and the little Sadie sticker circles, which is by the way, those little cir- like circles with the bow. Those are from Sadie Stickers, and I start writing. I was like, I'm going to write assignment, super cute, and then I get camera shy halfway through, and that happens. <laughs> so I'm going to cover it with a sticker and then pop on those little icons together, and that kind of does it for me, but yeah, <laughs> that's that's me in a nutshell. Um, oh, man, like I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, gosh, and then, oh, sorry, <laughs> See, oh, by the way, I don't know if I prefaced it, creaky chair, that is my old creaky chair. It's so creaky and it's annoying, but it is so comfortable too. Um, oh my gosh. So what did I do? Did I do the home workout on Monday? I did not. Why? Because I had awful cramps. So that doesn't end up happening. Um, did I make cookies that night? I sure did. I actually made popcorn too. I have been on a popcorn kink where I've been making my own popcorn and all that I'm putting on it is vegan butter. And um, I have these like sea salt flakes, so I'm popping on, like I'm sprinkling on sea salt flakes. And oh my gosh, my next one, I want to do um, sea salt and dark chocolate drizzle. Somehow my like somewhat healthy popcorn is turning very unhealthy, but you can tell that it is that time for me. And all I want is chocolate. So, and it's dark chocolate because it's not like I can have like sugary, milky chocolate. So yeah. Um... Oh man, that little book, by the way, is also from Paper Bits Co. And the little paperclip bow thing behind it is from Regina La or Miss and Meow from Regina's shop. That is that. Yeah, um, I really like that she popped in this extra little box. I wouldn't have known that the box was not supposed to look like that, but that's just me. Um, these cute little yoga guys are from uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. I didn't do yoga per se. I actually did some stretching because I was very sore. Um, my cramps are really bad, but I, my body just needed to move. And so I did some stretches, just some little light stretches before I collapsed on the floor and just kind of laid there for about 20 minutes with my phone on. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of what happened there. These are my beautiful letters to Apollo. I use these so sparingly. I love them so much, but I'm starting to run low. So I'm going to have to eventually do another order in the next couple of months. I think I have silver left, which is fine. A little bit of my gold and some rose gold. 
Um, and that's very much it. Tuesday was just my rec class um, and my management class. I handed in, well, my, I had an assignment due in rec, but I had handed that in two weeks prior. And then my management assignment, we worked on it in class. I had kind of like a little in-class thing. Um, the assignment is not due for two weeks, but I actually finished it. So I have a peer edit next week. Um, that was the last one I had to finish, really. That's like a big assignment. And I have a peer edit next week, and then I hand it in. But once the peer edit's done, I'm just going to hand it in because I'm quite happy with it. I don't, I can't touch an assignment after I've edited it, finished it, and kind of declared it done in my mind. Because if I sit down with it, I'm going to start ripping it apart, and I'm going to start second-guessing everything. And then I'm just going to like... I'm going to ruin it. So I have to just <laughs> hand it in once I'm done and it's edited. That has to be done for me because it's not a good thing if it's not. So yeah. <laughs> um, moving on to Wednesday, which is actually today. So today is an interesting day for me. Um, I have some work to do after I record this. This is actually, I'm doing this during my break. I needed a little bit of a break, but I wanted to do something creative. I did have enough time to finish vinyl stuff, but that will be my tonight and maybe I'll watch the movie. Oh, Nathan and I started Mandalorian. We did that last night. I forgot to write that down. That was kind of a random. We got into bed a little earlier than normal and he was just like, you know what? Let's watch some Mandalorian. So we are starting the new season. I missed apparently one episode out of off the of last season. So now we're watching, um, starting the new season tonight. So we're going to get one episode in. He wanted to have them accumulate a little bit so we can kind of, if we wanted to binge, we could. But honestly, look how pretty this foil looks on the screen. I love it so much. <laughs> um, some more Peter Bits Co. Girls. I told you I use them all the time. They're so cute. Um, some of you guys had asked me on my Instagram what my tattoos mean. So um, I figured I would just address that. I just thought, and I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to address that. Um, the one on my right hand with the two paws, one for each of my boys. So Rocco is my 17-year-old Aussie Collie Chelsea mix. Uh, he is my rescue. I got him in my mid-teens and I'm in my 30s. So he is 17 and a half turning 18. I love him so much. He is the most opinionated, grumpiest little ball of fur. Um, he's so funny because he's got the legs of a Sheltie, the body of like a Collie, but a little Aussie freckled face and the attitude of an old man. <laughs> He's so grumpy. I actually picked him up today. Um, by the way, I forgot to say, those mandalas are from Honey Inked, and I'm going to be ordering more during Black Friday. <sighs> My list is getting longer and longer. Um, but Rocco is a grumpy little bum. He, honestly, he is, <laughs> I swear his hearing is not great, and his eyes aren't great, but he is so grumpy lately and it's funny almost I picked him up to kind of scoot him out today because he was supposed to go for a walk first of all he grunted every time I got near to touch him You're like buddy I'm not afraid of you <laughs> you're my little mutt um and uh I took him out and he had such a little like attitude he wouldn't go past the driveway he just refused every time I go to like gently like get him to start moving he would pull back and sit so I let him just go to the bathroom, um, cleaned up out obviously after him and let him back inside where he groaned as I need to get it on video. He, when he goes to lie down, he groans like an old man and it's so cute. He's on glucosamine. Um, he's also battled cancer a couple of times. He's had a couple of tumors. Um, I think he's got another one on his paw, but he's too old to remove it. Um, they think it's benign. It's always been the last couple like little tumors that he's had have been fully benign. Uh, just a little gross because he's like old. Um, but he's beat cancer quite a few times. So he's my little trooper. Uh, so that is where the top one is for. That's why it's a bit smaller. And then the wider one is Theo's paw. Um, and he is my, he's half Great Dane. His, his dad was a Great Dane and his mom was a Collie Lab mix. Um, wrap what? Oh, I'm looking at the thing. Um, I do have to wrap gifts this week, by the way, at some point I gifts are starting to turn up. I did a lot of early online shopping for the first time. Um, before I start on about Theo wash hair, that script is from letters to Apollo and I love it. I do sometimes record when I need to remember to wash my hair. I have work tomorrow, so I'm going to be washing it tonight and then hello fresh. Um, I ended up putting a pause on that for next week. We didn't like the stuff. So I wanted to pop I pop back there just so I could see it today and be like, oh, by the way, you need to like pause HelloFresh for next week because we have to make the decision by today. Um, didn't love next week's stuff for their vegetarian option. So we'll just end up making something. 
Um, I'll probably be home or hopefully not, but I'll probably be home next week anyway. So that's what that is for. Um, Theo. So Theo is a big boy. He's about 140 pounds. I want to say he is fully healed. I know uh, if you follow me on Instagram that you would have seen that he had been through surgery uh, at the beginning of, uh, beginning-ish of COVID. And these, by the way, are from Clever Girl Clack. Clever Girl Crafts. I have quite a few of these peach flags. I love them. I have Christmas ones too, and I'm so excited to pull those out next week. Um, I love these autumnal ones, and they're beautiful. And then Coffee Break. This is my last one on the sheet. I had like three of these sheets. And this is from Fox and Pip, and I love it. I have a Zoom thing tomorrow for um, our spelling class, and then I have to run to work, and apparently works really quiet, so... Whew, we'll see. But uh, yeah, Theo is my big boy. He went in for a surgery on his, um, what is it called? His cruciate. He tore them both. He tore one, it healed, but the second one never healed properly. So they went in and the surgery was so extensive, but he healed. And now he's back at the park with his little doggy friends and his pack. And he's very, very excited. So yeah, so that's, that's that. That's Theo. So that's what that tattoo is. Uh, these stickers are from Murdoch Talks. Also, I still have another set of rose gold ones, but I'm almost done the sheets. I have a lot of almost done sheets, this, <laughs> this spread. Um, but yeah, that's what that one for is for. I also have a semicolon on my left wrist. It is upside down to me, and that's on purpose. I know, that's on purpose. It's not for me. It is for someone I love very dearly, um, and it was also for patients. Um, it's a semicolon. I'm sure a lot of you know what that means. So I have someone very close with me, close to me that struggles. Um, and so for their 20th birthday, my 30th birthday, because we share, almost, we almost share a birthday, um, I got it for them. Uh, they mean very, very much to me. And they are still here with us, but I know there's a lot of struggling that goes on. So that was just a reminder for them. That's why my semicolon is upside down. It's for somebody else, not so much for me. So yeah, that's what that is. I won't go into detail because I do have family um, and just people that I know who watch this and it's a very personal matter to this person and uh, I don't think I'd like to share their story without them. So yeah, it's their story to, it's their story to tell, not mine. So that's what that one is. And I also have one on my ribcage. <sighs> the one on my ribcage. I got that one <laughs> while I was 20, I think. Um, my 20th birthday was a mildly inebriated. Uh, not so much, um, but I went in with a different tattoo idea and came out with the one that I got. Not that I don't hate it or love it. I just, it, it, the tattoo that you get when you're a kid, almost when I feel like I'm a baby, when I was like at 20, I feel like I didn't know half the stuff I know now. So would I change it? Yeah. I will probably get it reworked eventually. I don't hate it enough to do that. Um, but yeah, so those are my three tattoos. I am getting another one on my left around the crook of my elbow on my left arm it's gonna be a very fine line uh single stem rose my nonna my grandmother absolutely loved roses um oh, I feel like I'm getting choked up <laughs> she loved roses and it was her favorite flower and she passed away two years ago and she was a very inspirational human being in my life absolutely adored her and her presence is very much missed so I wanted the memory of her on my arm. Yeah, so that's what that is. Ooh, I'm getting worked up. <laughs> but that's what that is. So I will definitely have that one coming. I want to just make sure it's safe to do that. So probably within the next year, once all of this kind of goes away and there's something that's going to make us truly safe, then I will go get my fourth tattoo. Um, but yeah, those are what my tattoo means. I do have a couple and they do mean the world to me. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what that one is. Um, here is another little Murdoch Talks work icon. I'm working like 12.30, 12 o'clock or 7.30. Not crazy, crazy shifts, but not they're not going to be busy, busy shifts with everything going on. Um, the record voiceover is from Artbox Stickers. The wash masks and the mask icon is from... Where is it from? Uh, Murdoch Talks. And the bigger mandala is also from... Um, honey inked. I have some beautiful mandalas. Uh, some from Simply Beautiful Plans. I have some coming from Dash of Sun, but they're like winter ones. And then also have a, I have these ones and I'll probably end up ordering another set of them. Look at this full box, by the way. This is my favorite full box I think I've seen. I love it. It's so pretty. 
I love it so much. <laughs> it's lovely. Um, also, obviously, from the kit. So, yeah. Uh, me putting a sticker on Not So Straight. Shocker of the century. Uh, but, yeah. I Yeah, so let's go back to these. what's going on these days. Because we, we went through, like, a really, really heavy, heavy hard topic. Um, Wednesday, I today I had a class. And then I had class again. I have to finish off something today oh I was doing my stuff for my placement we were doing a cookbook so I wanted to finish up the layout for that um and then start popping in the things eventually I have to start cooking but I'm gonna think maybe do that in the new year um but I want to get at least the layout down so that'll be good and then Thursday tomorrow I have my uh spelling bee in the morning and then I'm working it's pretty straightforward I also have to run to Old Navy and pick up one of Nathan's Christmas gifts um, they're so funny because I gave him a call yesterday and I was like, do you guys do curbside? And they're like, yep. And I was like, how does that work? They're like, well, you can call us. I'm like, I run across the hall. Can I just like shout it at you? Cause I work across the hall from Old Navy and they're like, yeah, just yell it at us. So the girl's like, come in the evening. I'll be here. So I'm going to run tomorrow and pick up, um, one of his Christmas gifts and probably another set of pajamas for myself. And then there was one more thing I had to pick up from Old Navy. I just can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I wanted to wash my masks. I have been using a couple more, and I hate this because I'm, I like to be a lot more conscious about my waist. Um, but I do have some reusable masks that I picked up from Minoso, only because I find I'm having to wear masks more, but more than I can wash them. So I either need to buy new masks <laughs> or wash them more frequently. But I don't always have the time to wait for them to dry because they can't be put in the dryer because they're 100% organic cotton most of them. So here's the conundrum. Um, these boxes are from Miss and Meow. I love them. And again, another uh, Clever Girl Crafts little flag up there, which is super cute. Friday, same kind of day, working all day. <laughs> 12 to 7.30. I did, however, want to pop into, I have to, I don't know if I write that down. I have to, I wanted to pop into Copper Branch, one of my favorite vegan restaurants here to grab a little lunch for myself. They have these bomb tempeh spring rolls and they're so good. And then they have an Aristotle box. I get the mini and I do it with the cognac noodles and the lettuce. And that's probably going to end up being my dinner. And I'm excited for that. I do have some leftover soup for lunch tomorrow, which I'm very excited for. Um, I ordered from Fresh today, which is a vegan restaurant downtown that I love that I found out has now moved down the street from my work. So goodbye wallet and <laughs> goodbye fitting of my leggings no it's they're healthy they're actually I usually order the same thing so not that it makes a difference I can get what I want for what I feel because I like to enjoy my food I am definitely a foodie but yeah these yoga things again from coffee monsters co I was hoping that my time of the month would be done by then <laughs> to, to be able to actually do a full workout but yeah initially was supposed to work on Saturday but I am no longer working on Saturday Ta -da. <laughs> um, I have the day off because of what's going on. So, yeah. You can see my, like, last week spread on the back of that sheet. Um, let's see. Saturday I'm off. Sunday I'm off, too, it looks like. I don't know what's going on. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, my week is kind of still up in the air. But, yeah. Another mandala from Honey Inked. They're so beautiful. They're so intricate and lovely. I don't know what I was trying to do with this box. I do cut it up for something and then I end up just not using it because again, not that creative over here, <laughs> but yeah, that's, it's a pretty simple weekend. I'm looking forward to enjoying it. If I do have it off, do I end up using it? I do end up using it. Um, I do look forward to having a bit of a break. Nathan's working. He was on call all weekend, but he's home, which is nice. And then there isn't much we can do. We aren't putting up our tree yet. We're getting our tree next Saturday. We're putting it up. And I'm very, very excited for that. I love, love putting up my Christmas tree. I feel like that little, because we're not really spending it with family as much this year, which you can kind of drive by gift drop-offs. Um, because we're not spending it with family, unfortunately, as much we kind of our my family is a huge part of my holiday uh, my grandparents always were and my family just we always get together and we see each other very often and we can't um some of my cousins are still part of my bubble because we're all isolated for the most part and we see each other here and there but they're part of like my actual immediate bubble 
So it's nice to see them every so often, kind of just like um, one of my planner friends is. But I like, again, I've, we've been so incredibly careful just for each other because we all have, you know, varying, like some of us are at risk and some, um, some aren't. So yeah, but that's what that one is. Um, I looked at this letter to Apollo countdown. I realized it's not even close to 25 days to Christmas yet. Like I don't start counting until the 1st of December, which is next week. So I had that moment of like, oh, duh, Alyssa. Um, they're beautiful countdowns. So I'm so excited to use that next week. Um, payday is Friday. It is on Friday. Um, I just have to order more <laughs> Christmas gifts. I'm actually almost done my Christmas gift shopping. I got so excited to hit my nail. Um, I'm almost done my Christmas gift shopping. I have my brother and his girlfriend completely done. Um, my other brother, I have to pick up something. He's in the next room, so I can't say. Um, but I have most of these into. I just have to pick up one of his big gifts. I'm just waiting for that to hopefully go on sale on Black Friday because it's on Amazon, which is easy enough. Um, what else do I have? I've picked up, yeah, pretty much all of Nathan's. I just have to do my mom and my dad. Um, all my friends are done, which is phenomenal. They're done. I just have to wrap them. I have one of them. I have one of them coming this week or next week for one of my friends. Um, and then again, I just have to kind of take a day and just drop them on their doorstep and like wave from afar because um, I won't be celebrating with them. We do this massive Christmas gift or Christmas party every single year that we can't do. So I'm hoping next year is just going to be a, a very lovely one. So yeah, that's, that's kind of that. That's mostly my week. Uh, my date night sticker is from Simply Beautiful Plans. And my little bread bear is also from Paper Bits Co. That is the most part my entire week. Not too, too crazy. Um, I hope that you guys have a very safe week and a very safe next couple of weeks. Um, keep yourself safe and just remember to wash your hands and wear your mask. By the way, these are very cute. Just marking off a little. We wanted to have a date night on Saturday because that was my plan. I was going to bring home some uh, Indian food for he and I. We have this new Indian restaurant in our area called Nirvana and it's so good. So I was going to pick up Indian for he and I. But that is that. I am going to let you, I guess, watch me finish up the rest of this spread. And that's pretty much that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Have an amazing time, guys. Stay safe. And I will see you very, very soon. See you next week.